Okay, just a little update on my uh, on my Z2 Jewel Thief circuit. Um, I finally got the capacitance dialed in. Now you can see it's pretty decent light. You know, of course, videos are always a little darker, but I mean, got no problem seeing seeing around here. And uh, tonight I'm running on three double A's and uh, they were fairly well charged up I think you got about 3.5 volts there right now and um, I switched back to the original transformer for that whole last bit of video there I actually had the wrong transformer I had a bigger one that one's going to be for a magneticist uh, Bedini uh, pulsar and uh, anyway uh, so that the three batteries there we're running at uh, 400 milliamps and uh, I found that if you can't find the right cap just uh, keep adding them in parallel till you find the exact right amount and the way that I've been tuning it now it took me a long time to figure this out because it's kind of a little bit new to me but when you add capacitance there it should do two things it should drop your current and it should increase your light at the same time or else it isn't worth doing you're either going to have to step up or step down and I found that my numbers are, are completely different than um, Z2's numbers so you know that's because I've got different components I suppose I'm running the tip 3055 a uh, 16 6 J12 Hammond transformer which is actually a 12.6 step down to 12.6 it's a, a 1 amp transformer and uh, I'm running about 275 ohms of resistance and 300 um, nanofarad like three 104s so um, yeah 300 nanofarad uh, on the capacit capacitance so uh, yeah anyway it's uh, pretty impressive pretty impressive light really you know for what it is and it leaves open. I'm, I'm glad that it runs on on double A's as good as it does too, because you know it leaves your options open. Now you can just basically have a, a nice room light and just use those freaking solar solar uh, recharges if you want solar recharge circuits. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys, and very special thanks to Z2 and Laser Saber and all those guys that were behind this from day one. Thanks again.